Hello everybody, so this is going to be a video to show you how to reduce the size of your swap partition just in case you no longer need the size that was allocated or it automatically allocated what you feel is too much. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Firstly what you need to do is, I would say the safest way is to do this using a USB installer. So have Ubuntu downloaded on the USB, insert that into your computer and boot from that live installation environment. So that's happening as we speak now. And the reason why I say that is potentially there's issues when you're trying to resize partitions using the actual mounted drive that you're trying to configure. So it could cause problems. Okay, so once you're in the live environment, it will ask you whether you want to try Ubuntu or install it like it did when you initially went through the installation. You want to just exit out of that. The screen will go black for a moment and then it will come back to this environment. Once you're here, search for Gparted. If you don't have this installed, you can go into Terminal. You should be able to install it as long as you're connected to the internet. I'll assume you've got that and carry on. Okay, so here's the Linux swap file and it's just under 15 gigabytes. I need on this system four gigabytes is the actual RAM installed. Um, so no need to go even double beyond that. So we'll reduce that to eight and that should be more than sufficient. So firstly, if you select the swap part here, the Linux swap, go to partition tab and let's turn that swap off first. Now we can resize this. Click the Linux swap file. Click Partition, Resize and Move, and you can either select how much free space you'd like or the new size of it. So I'll go for 8GB, so 8192, and if you click it at the top, if it hasn't updated already, it will tell you the remainder left over. I've done that, so I can come out of here now, but otherwise you would just click Resize and Move here, and it would just take a second to do that. You would then have unallocated space here. What we're going to do is use that and add that on to our existing root partition of the Linux file. So in my case, this part here is the main root. We'll click resize and move. You could either add those together or drag this bar across. But now I'm saying I want the new size to use all the unallocated space. So we'll click resize and move now. Perfect. So that extension. Here, yeah, the SDA5, the, my main root partition, has now increased. And we've reduced the Linux swap. Okay, so these two operations are now pending, so it hasn't done it yet. What we need to do is apply the changes. We can do that all together. Okay, so let's just tick apply. And we'll do that. So here you can see it's shrinking the swap file. And it's extending and using that rem remainder space with the root partition. And we just check the swap file can be used. So we just need to click swap on to activate that use. And now we've got a key beside it. So all we need to do is restart this system and it should be all good to go. So now that we've rebooted into the system, obviously taken your USB out of the system so it can do so, you press control, Alt T to get into the terminal. We'll now put in the command swap on and then minus S. Now you can see that within this partition here, we've got the swap file, which is just over eight gigabytes. So now confirmed it's all working and it's as it should be. Thanks for watching.